What's up guys, PowerManiac720 here and I have for you round 7 from the Boston Open. Uh, so I'm playing Summer Hunter, who is a girl. Um, wasn't quite sure because I used to know a guy named Summer. Uh, oh no, his name is Hunter. It wasn't Summer. I don't think I've ever met a guy named Summer. I don't think that's a thing. Um, but she had a team of Gengar, Lyapard, Garchomp, Milotic, Zapdos, and Landorus. So of course two potential Megas with the Gengar and the Garchomp. But Seeing the Lyapert, I kind of assumed it was going to be the Gengar, because, of course, you have Encore Disable Shenanigans with those two. Um, so, fun fact, this is actually the third girl I played in the tournament, which is kind of cool, because I've never played more than one girl in a tournament. So, it's like, I mean, hopefully it's a sign that the VGC scene is growing for girls, or maybe it's just I happen to get, like, the three girls in my flight. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go right into the battle. Uh, I kind of lead my anti Lipard Gengar lead, which is Sableye and uh, my or I guess I've, I've Sableye is my anti lead, and I also led my Lotus because it was pretty good against this whole team. Um, well, this was fantastic because Sableye, of course, can't get faked out by Lipard, and if he, she taunts me, then my mental orb activates. So she goes for the fake out onto my uh, I taunt her, so I don't have to worry about getting Encore into Protect. And Zapdos, Thunderbolts into my Milotic as well. So I'm not really too concerned about the um, Lipard or the Thunderbolt because I'm so bulky and Zapdos don't usually run any kind of like thing, uh, like offensive investment. So she Thunderbolts my Milotic and it Okos it. And I'm like, I mean, not Okos, not straight Okos, but like does 90, it takes away the 90% I had left. And it turns out it was Life Orb. Like it was a really cool Zapdos. Like that's. I mean, I'm assuming it was like 252, 252, timid or modest, but, um, so that happened. Um, so I'm not too concerned. Zapdos protects, which also, I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so I go for the feint onto Lipar to break its presumed focus sash, and I just mock punch it. And of course, it can't use any prankster moves because I've taunted it, so it just dies. Which is awesome, because Lipar can be really annoying to deal with. Uh, Gengar comes in. Gengar can also be super annoying to deal with because it's fast and it hits pretty hard. And I don't have anything on my team that hits it super effectively. Uh, so I do end up quashing it because I want to get a spoil off on it because, like I said, it's really annoying and it kind of threatens my team. Uh, Zapdos whips out Heat Wave, which I shouldn't be surprised about at this point because of the nature of this battle. Um... Takes a little more life orb damage, but I mean, it's not so bad because like this life orb damage is adding up along with the chip damage from the burn. So, like, the Zapdos is slowly killing itself. And I saw Protect, Heat Wave, and Thunderbolt, so I was assuming at this point that it didn't have Roost. Um, as you see, Zapdos goes under half. Um, so, I quash once again uh, the Zapdos because I obviously saw it fast in my Breloom. And I, I know I'm going to lose Breloom this turn, so I basically just my goal here is to just get as much damage off as possible. Hopefully get it, hopefully Bolsey gets in range so that Burn plus Life Orb is able to knock it out. Uh, I only get two hits, unfortunately, but that's going to be enough as long as her attack hits. And she does reveal her last move, which is Hidden Power Ice, which knocks out my Breloom. <coughs> so, of course, Mash is getting down to the wire, especially if she has, depending on what she has in the back. So, I know Zapdos is down, so I said to her, like, if you have Milotic in the back, you straight up win. Like, there's nothing I can do to beat her Milotic. Which is really scary. If she's got Chomp in the back, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, but she ends up having Landorus, which I was pumped to see because I can quash it and I can, like, roost when I get low and I can burn it. Like, everything is good. Um, and I also got my own Intimidate off on it. So it's at minus one and it's going to be burned, which is awesome. Um, but this match ends up getting pretty intense. <laughs> um, so... Sableye goes right for that Will O Wisp onto the Landorus. I'm at minus one, so I don't expect Double Edge to knock it out, uh, knock out the Gengar. Um, and Samus avoids the Rock Slide, which is awesome because I don't have to worry about. I mean, it's only a little bit of damage, but every bit of damage as you're going to see at the end of the game counts. Uh, Gengar actually wakes up and Shadow Balls me, which kind of sucks. Um, you know, it does just under 50%, and it gets a special defense drop, so one more Shadow Ball is going to end the match. Um, so, Gengar, as you can see, I. Almost knock it out with minus one double edge, which is a testament to uh, Salamis' strength and to Gengar's semi. I mean, it's, it's a little bulkier as a mega, but still pretty frail. 
Uh, so I kind of expected her to just do the same move, Rock Slide Shadow Ball. So I actually protect and go for the Wobbuffet on her Gengar to knock it out. Um, but she makes a good play, and she protects and goes for the Rock Slide on me. So really smart play. Um, so the match right now pretty much comes down to this turn because uh, Shadow Ball knocks me out at this point. So I have to quash her Gengar, hope Rock Slide doesn't KO or flinch me, and then hope that Rock Slide lands on her Gengar and is able to knock it out. Like that's my win condition. I was scared to double edge it because I didn't know if I was going to be able to take. I didn't know how much recoil. I knew it was going to take very little recoil, but I didn't know how much I was going to survive that rock slide with. It could have been 2 HP and then I just lose. Uh, but luckily it hits both Pokemon. And at this point, I know I had the match won because I could just quash and roost and get some health back. Uh, so I do quash her Landorus here and I get off my free roost, which, you know, I ran roosted nationals on my Salamence and hated it. Uh, but on this team, it makes a little more sense because the team's a little bulkier and a little more defensive. Than my Nationals team. Um, so I th it came in handy a lot in practice. Not, I didn't really use it that much this weekend, but um, just twice. I guess I used it against Ben once, and she forfeits there. So I end the tournament 4-3. and three. Um, Loved the team. I think I could have played better with it. I think the team itself, though, was pretty well built. Um, I could have... I, I will be posting it on my blog, Pokemon Masters. That's M-A-S-S-T-E-R-S.blogspot.com. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And like I said, if you need the link, just check out my Twitter, PowerManiac, or at PowerManiac720. So until next time, guys, bye.